Tuesday, May 9th, 1944. Dear Kitty, I finished my story of Ellen the Fairy. I have copied it out on nice note paper. It certainly looks very attractive, but it is really rough enough for Daddy's birthday. I don't know. Margot and Mummy have both written poems for him. It shows how close they are that they like give each other poems for their birthday. Shit. I'm not going to say that. Mr. Crayler came upstairs this afternoon with the news that Mrs. B, who used to act as a demonstrator for the business, wants to eat her box lunch in the office here at 2 o'clock every afternoon. Think of it. No one can come upstairs anymore. The potatoes cannot be delivered. Ellie can't have lunch. We can't go to the WC. We mustn't move, etc., etc. We thought up the wildest and most varied suggestions to wheedle her away. Van Dan thought that a good laxative in her coffee would be sufficient. No, replied Copias. I beg of you not. Then we'd never get her off the box, resounding laughter. Off the box, asked Mrs. Van Dan. What does that mean? An explanation followed. Can I always use it? She then asked stupidly. Imagine it, Ellie giggled. If one asked for the box and barking corpse, they wouldn't even understand what you mean. Oh, kid, it's such wonderful weather. If only I could go outdoors. Yours, Anne. That was Thursday, May 9th, 1944.